What is up guys, welcome to the vlog. Today is gonna be one of the best days ever for two reasons. One, I get to see all my buddies, and two, Star Wars comes out tonight. So we have a pretty packed schedule, but we still gotta do our work today because thou can't playeth if thou don't worketh. Am I right? That's right. So we're gonna go in here, pick up some supplies for some epic skits we got going on today. So stay tuned, baby. The tag, you can put the tag anywhere, I don't care. Okay, let's put it right, right on the top. Bingo. Thanks, man. <laughs> Little vlogging pro tip, guys. If you walk into a store with your camera and they ask what you're doing, just tell them it's too expensive to leave in your car. There you go. And then they'll tag it. Like, mine just got tagged and you are good to go. You gotta do that. Some people are weird about your filming. All right, so we're looking for some fishing line for a skit we're trying to do. I've never bought fishing line in my life. You know what you're doing? I mean, you can get like really cheap kind or really expensive kind. We'll probably just do the cheap kind. Fishing line, check. Uh, hooks, got him. All right, they also got these space swords. Oh, that one's busted for three bucks. I feel like we got to do it, right? Have to. Look Star Wars thing. Day? Absolutely. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Force push. <sighs> oh, gosh. <laughs> look? 10 people quit watching. <laughs> Insert cash or select payment type. Please take your change. Thank you for shopping at Walmart. <laughs> Space swords. Hey. There they are. What's up, big homie? Here we go. We're gonna, do some, we're gonna do some big things today? We're gonna try do some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Big Nate? What's good, homie? Looking massive. What are you doing right now? Is that a prep meal? You cutting? <laughs> Getting huge. Mix this with my junk. Yeah. It's a good balance. 50 50. Exactly. There he is. We, we gonna do some big things today? All the time. The only thing we do is do a beat. There we go, big dog. But first, we gotta eat. Check it out, guys. Rice cakes, jalapeno mustard, a couple prep meals down in here. What we got? Check it out guys, still sticking to the basics. We got about 11 ounces of chicken. I think that equates to like almost 300 grams of chicken. We got our mixed veggies from the meal prep video you guys just seen and 112 grams of sweet potato. Today's probably my last day on this little uh, detox protocol. Get myself feeling good. Get some prime nutrients in the system. Cause you feel good, look good, perform good. Look at you with your meal prep. That's right. Hey game, baby. What do you got over there? Meal prep or is that a sword? Are we out here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, finished eating. Now it is time to film this little skit for Pure Bollocks. Since today the Star Wars movie comes out, I think we're gonna do Star Wars themed. You down with that? I'm down. I know the ins and outs of Star Wars. So we're good. <laughs> He's a Star Wars expert right there. You ready for this? Oh yeah, we ready. Let's go. You ready back there, Grant? I'm ready. All right, guys. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Strong curtains. What's going on, man? Oh, not much, brother. Just chilling. What's going on with you? I, man, I came in here to get a bag of those aminos, though. Oh, sorry, man. Last bag. Fresh out. So it's like that? I can't get those last bag of aminos? <laughs> if you want it, come and get it. All right. I got something for you. <laughs> It's been a while since I've had to harness my power. The dark side shall never prevail. I got something for you. So close, Padawan. Far too easy. 
Whoa! What's going on? Leave! You'll only find death here! Dude, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, Ryan! Why? Never mess with the Sith Lords of Minos. You'll never get away with it! Uh. Pyraminos for the pure evil. All right, guys, I need you to comment below and let me know what you thought of that. I, I love shooting these because like it gives me a chance to like get behind the camera. Instead of being in front of it, I get to kind of do cool stuff, kind of like I'm directing in a sense. But boy, that is a blast. How is everybody feeling? What'd you think, big dog? Oh, that was fun. Best thing yet. You got murdered, brother. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you were just the OG in that. All I do is win. You're just evil. Inside and out. Dude, don't hit me with that. <laughs> I wasn't even in the video. You guys are lucky. <laughs> hey, hey, rematch next. Yeah. Oh. Comes in guns blazing. <laughs> don't bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas. Good work. See you guys. See you later. Now that that is done, guys, I think it is time to get a lift in. So we're gonna head to the gym right now. I think today's arm day, right? Absolutely. All right, arm day. So, see you guys there. Bingo. All right guys, today's goal with this workout, we're gonna be hitting arms. And I wanna try to keep everything fast and quick. I wanna be able to do supersets, bicep, then tricep. Just get a lot of blood to the muscle, get a nice cardio session at the same time. Since I'm doing my detox diet, my calories lower. Plus, I wanna have a nice pump, so I can be the biggest guy in line for the Star Wars movie tonight, baby. So, if you guys are Star Wars fans, comment below if you're going to see the movie. If, actually, this will come out tomorrow. Regardless, if you're a Star Wars fan, comment below. But let's go ahead and get this workout started. Time to get in that post-workout meal. We got ourselves chicken once again, 112 grams of sweet potato, and 168 grams of mixed veggies. And to be completely honest, what I've noticed the last couple days since doing my little detox protocol is how much I miss actually eating out of Tupperware. And I would have to say uh, my biggest diet mistake of 2017 and the last little part of 2016 is that once I started doing this full time, I didn't have another job to go to and I wasn't doing both, was that now I really, this year, I haven't really prepped my food out very much. I used to meal prep religiously. I would eat out of Tupperware every single day of the week, save for my maybe my cheat day on Saturday or something like that. But I would eat out of Tupperware all the time and that was the last time I truly got shredded. Ever since I started doing this full time, I haven't been shredded. I don't mean just a six pack. I mean like bone dry, absolute crazy, diced lean. I miss it. And I've realized, I've just came to terms with it as I sat down right now that that has been my biggest mistake this year is that I quit meal prepping. And I have full access to a kitchen and I always tell myself in my head that I'm uh, gonna cook the food when I need it and I'll make it for my macros and I'm good. And that might work for the first couple weeks, but every single time I do any diet, bulk or cut or whatever, I always let my excuses get the better of me. I go out, like today for instance, if I had to go over there and meet them and shoot that video, didn't have my meals prepped, you know, likely I would have been to grab like a protein cookie off the wall and then go to Roosters after and just, throw my diet off. Whereas if I have it prepped and I'm on a program, I know without a shadow of a doubt, I am achieving my goals. And I would have to say out of all of 2017 really, and it's crazy that I'm just noticing this right now in December, that had to be my single biggest diet mistake. I um, promise to you guys moving into 2018 is that um, I'm gonna prep more and I'm gonna be more consistent with these diets and quit making excuses and quit with all the, the BS because you know, I think one of the worst things you can do, and I even tell clients this, is that uh, is when you lie to yourself. Is 
when you tell yourself things are one way when they are clearly not. When you tell yourself you're trying your hardest to follow that diet and you're not. When you tell yourself you're busting your butt in the gym and you are not. That's one of the worst things you could do. And I've been doing it to myself this whole time. So uh, that is my promise. From here on out, guys, you're gonna get a way better Remington and I'm gonna set a way better example for you guys. I think you deserve it. I deserve it. Time for excuses is over. So with that, I'm gonna enjoy this meal. Thank you guys for watching as always and uh, hope that I didn't get a little too meta for some of you, but you know, sometimes I think it's nice to air this stuff out because I have friends I can talk to about it, but realistically, you guys are all my friends. So I like to open up on here and admit what I've been slacking. So I need you guys to keep me on my uh, paces. If you see me slipping, you better comment below and tell me. Send me a DM, slide right in there, baby. And now I gotta put this back in the microwave. It got cold. Rem, you talk too long. Ugh. Guys, before this movie tonight, I am exhausted. I need a little nap. Normally I'll take like a 20 minute power nap if I'm exhausted. I'm telling you guys, do not discount the effectiveness of like a 20 minute, see? Nap. Ugh, if you ever just get that, you're just like, I feel like you've been hit by a truck. That's how I feel, but a 20 minute nap will uh, take all my pains away, baby. So take a little nap, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Feel good as new. I'm telling you guys, don't underestimate the power of a mini little nap. I was whew, still waking up, but even like 15 or 20 minutes for some reason does a ton for my mental state of mind. Gets me energized, especially knowing tonight I'm gonna be out late for the Star Wars movie, so whew, much better. Trico's giant in the, the area that you can yeah, it's set by the, uh, it's like, it's, uh, and just like, you're waiting on until PSX, because we're like, maybe this is what one, too. Uh, Marty and I, we're there. Yeah, and we're back. Right. It's up there. Could yeah. be, yeah. Yeah. Did you love that game? That game was perfect. Like, I absolutely love the sequel. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather see what else I want. Just this very straightforward. Let's warm into a chicken. That's mean, like, that's a pretty major thing. It actually kind of is. Which, like, instead of, like, in, in other Metroidvania games, like, you might get the power of the chicken. And the secret ingredients making your coffee a hundred times better without adding any calories, Walden Farms syrup. Just add it right in there. Boom. Oh. Delicious. Nothing like coffee at seven o'clock at night. Before you get all antsy and you say, Remington, that's too late to have caffeine. Let me show you my trick here. So what I'm drinking isn't regular coffee. This is decaf coffee, which means there's no caffeine in it. Coffee has no calories, but sometimes I just want a hot drink at night to kind of relax me. But regular coffee with all that caffeine is just gonna amp me up late at night. So get the decaf version, I get myself a nice drink without the calories or the anxiety. <laughs> And then what this is, I get questions about this on my Snapchat all the time, my Instagram stories. By the way, add me on Snapchat and Instagram. Boop, you won't regret it. Stories have been lit lately. Salad dance, people. If you've seen that salad dance, comment below. But what this is, basically I just take my coffee, scoop it in there. You guys just seen that, and you dump hot water down through here. Ba ba ba. Makes coffee. I don't know the wizardry or the science behind it. It's a pretty sophisticated piece of machinery here, but it gets the job done. And then Walden Farm syrup. You guys know I rant and rave about this. My local store hasn't sold it in a while. I think they quit selling it. So what did I do? We bought a case. <laughs> we bought a whole case of these bad boys. So we have Walden Farm syrup for days. I still swear this is one of the best dieting tools ever invented. Throw it in coffee, throw it in oatmeal, throw it in literally anything. And it makes it a hundred times better with zero calories. So good stuff. And then obviously it's Star Wars day. So we're drinking out of a Star Wars tin cup. Check that out. Who is that? Do you know who that is? Do you? Everybody should. But if you don't, um... I'm not sure you're from this planet. See, Remington James, the Remington James on Instagram. Cool, what if I, look at, look at all these photos. What I've been searching here. Wait, what? This is the buffest dude I've ever seen. Haters are gonna say that's Photoshop. I say it's hard work, dedication, and taking your probox protein every day. I don't know, what do you guys think? Real or fake? I feel like I'm asking you a lot of questions. Okay guys, the movie starts in about an hour and a half. I have a conference call here in like 20 minutes, but I still need to shower and get ready for this movie. Lots of stuff to do, packing a lot of work still into this day before I go have my fun. So shower, um, actually should probably, um, ah! And that is how you avoid a parental advisory warning on the vlog, baby. You just skip the shower, word of advice. Skip the shower, don't film it, slap the lens, come back, you're in business. So shout out to Gunsmith Clothing, by the way. So it is 7.56. We literally got four minutes for this conference call, so let's get on it. This 
free conference call is provided by Uber Conference. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely some sort of delay. Not that it's bad, but it's definitely, it definitely is so strong. So that's not the issue, but I'm one. Did he ever respond to that email of the extracts that you asked or no? Everybody have a good, uh, have a good evening. You too. Thanks, guys. Let me know if you need See you. See you. That's how you do a conference call, folks. Definitely ran a little longer than I wanted to. It is actually Star Wars starts in 40 minutes. 45. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay, guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go watch this movie. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna give you guys a spoiler free review at the end of the video. We're gonna keep it quick. I'm just gonna tell you if it was good or bad. I won't spoil anything. So, you ready for this movie? Dude, I'm so pumped. So, Star <laughs> so why no, no. So Star Wars time, baby. Go. And it is the next morning. I didn't get home last night until about 1 a.m. Anyways. It was an amazing movie. You guys need to go see it. 10 out of 10. The thing I won't spoil anything, but the things they do with each character, the send-offs, the epic moments, like, incredible, guys. One of the best Star Wars movies I've ever seen, and you guys need to go see it. So, today, actually, the movie comes out officially. I went to Midnight Release, so you're gonna see this video today. So, video comes out today. If you're going to see it, comment below. If you've already seen it, let me know what you think. Who's your favorite character? I'm not gonna spoil anything yet. That might be for a future vlog. So, anyways, guys, thank you all so very much. If you enjoyed this video and you liked the Star Wars skit, you liked anything about this, let me know. I'm trying to do more vlogs and things of that nature. So, follow me on social media, links in description. And as always, guys, don't forget to smile, remain positive, and pay someone a compliment because you never know whose day you could be making better with that. We are out here. This has been Remington James production. I will see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See you guys.